gonna all I'm gonna go buy you guys Apple watches. <laughs> All right, YouTube, so today is the day. We just stopped to get gas. I figured uh, get Ryan behind the camera to do some filming. So we have driven so far four hours to, uh, I guess we'll just say Newark, PA. A touch over four hours. Touch over four hours to pick up my very own snowmobile, finally. <laughs> after all the comments of everybody saying, you need a snowmobile, buy one, buy one, after Ryan picking up his snowmobile and people thinking that was clickbait and uh, me getting one. Finally, what has it been, like a week? And like two weeks later, finally getting my own. Of course, it's like four hours away. We woke up at like 4.30 this morning to drive here so we can get back home, not like super late at night. But uh, yeah, we're about 12 minutes away from uh, checking this thing out. It's kind of like, uh, I don't plan on not leaving with it, but if it's in like really bad condition, we'd probably just cut down the price. Um, a lot more than what we agreed on. But yeah, I guess I'll uh, update you guys when we're putting it in the truck. We didn't bring the trailer, so uh, two small guys, me and Ryan, gotta figure out how we're getting it in the back of the truck because we struggled lifting um, into Ryan's truck, but his is like, what, six inches taller? Oh my God. It's a figure that out, but we gotta check over the sled first. And uh, yeah, we'll get there, get this over with. Check this bad boy out. If you guys are new and you want to see more snowmobile videos, definitely hit the subscribe button down below. Leave a comment down below what kind of snowmobile videos you want to see, what you want me to do with it. Stop talking and we'll get there to check this thing out. This is like best case scenario. Got the sled loaded, got right backed up to this little mound. We're all loaded up. Thing's sick. Ryan, what do you think? I, just, I don't know. Clutch was slipping. <laughs> Shut up. As we're driving on the side of the road, we see this sick like backyard moto track on the side of this like mountain right here. There's so like this looks like a legit track. You probably can't see much, but that is so sick. Up in the hills. It's huge. It's so huge. I was gonna get out and look, but uh it looks like the owner or whatever like across lived right across the street, so I didn't want to like go on their property and get shot or something. So <laughs> The, uh, the sled's all loaded up. I'll give a little run over when we uh, get back to the house and whatnot, but deal went pretty smooth. Guy was cool. <sighs> all right, of course, we're in PA. We gotta stop at the sheets, get some food. All right, we have the goods, a wrap, nice sub, ready to go for this rest of this three hour uh, drive home. We still have like three and a half hours, so. No, we're hyped on this drive. We're super hyped on this drive, but shout out to Sheets for uh, the sponsor for today's video. Fuel up one more time, should make it home. We've got it tied in here with the uh, the moto shafts. I wish I had some uh, tie downs, ratchet straps, but it's the best we got on each side. Didn't go anywhere, should be good. All right, back on the road, should be good. Boom. Ryan's showing me a picture of the old Rev 600. Looking back, uh, what, like a year ago? We got a solid 350 miles to E and 219 miles to get home, so we'll make it. Should make it. All right, so we just got back. I didn't film anything, just drove straight four hours. And uh, finally, four and, a half hours. four and a half hours, Ryan slept in the back seat. But uh, yeah, we'll unload this bad boy. We're waiting on the trailer to come here. We're gonna see if uh, we're gonna see if we can fit three sleds in his enclosed trailer. The trailer, the the dirt bike trailer. That way, for this winter, we can have that planned. But I figured I unload it here since I don't really have anywhere like this at my house to unload it. And then I'll just put it in the trailer and then bring it home. It'll just make everything a lot easier. And I'll give you guys a little rundown on this thing, show you the whole thing. Uh, yeah, I'm stoked on this thing. It's so sick. All right, do you want to put the ramp down or you want to just drop it? They still do the ramp. Ramp, you think? It's only like two inches. Riding it. You're just going to go down and then... Just yeah, it's just going to... Yeah, true. All right. Well, our uh, unload, as I sped that up probably, didn't go the best, didn't go to plan, because it kept slipping, the ramp couldn't get hooked on the, the back of the tailgate, so it was just pulling it forward. So uh, yeah, I had to do it by hand, but. All right. coming on now. It's 
smoking. Ryan's taking all the sleds out. His brother's already got his out ready to uh, test it out in the trailer. So Ryan, what's the deal? I'll, I'll trade you your sled, I'll trade you mine for your sled, and you give me uh, 2,000. Sound like a deal? <laughs> all right, so now I can do a little run over of the sled here. Um, kind of give you a little brief overview. It's got a somewhat uh, new track. It's got the, the ice ripper, ice whatever um, track on there. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much stock. It's just the stock 600 XRS. The only little problem with it is it's got a little scuff on the sticker. I don't care, I'm gonna take the sticker off anyway. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Solid deal, I'm really hyped on it. Now all that's left is uh, to get some snow here in the next couple of months and uh, ride this thing. So another little problem is uh, on the carbide, um, it broke off. It needs new ones anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, that's the two little problems it has. It only has 9,500 miles. And not bad. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Now it actually only has uh, 2,800 miles on it. And uh, yeah, 600 ETOC. Not much else to say, but so hyped on it. I'd say it was worth the uh, the total nine hour round trip to pick it up. Was it my, I bought Ryan breakfast, lunch, and snacks, and a shout out on Instagram. If you want to follow Ryan on Instagram, it's on the screen right here for coming with me to uh, pick this thing up. Maybe I'll rip it around at my house when I get it home here in like 30 minutes and try and do some wheelies for you guys. We'll see, we'll see. If you don't care tearing up the grass, I don't care, do it. I don't care. Really? I don't care, sure. Right here. Sure, go ahead. I don't care. How is it? You're the first one to actually ride it aside from me riding it over here. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan's got the pleasure of the first ride technically, I guess you could say. But uh they need cans. Yeah, cans. Coming soon. Coming soon. Oh yeah, I want to get a can for it, probably just the trail can and then the uh the light up LED uh hand guards and then I'll just shine everything up. Maybe some LEDs. And uh I want to put a 12 volt um, power outlet on there and then I'll put like a little bag or something up here somewhere that way I can charge like the the camera batteries the uh, the GoPro batteries my phone while on the trail and stuff like that and have it like heated and everything so Other than that, I'm really there's nothing else to do to it and uh, other than just to ride the thing and have fun on it. If you guys are new and you want to see more snowmobile videos coming soon Definitely hit the subscribe button down below comment down below what kind of snowmobile you have on um, what you prefer Skidoo Polaris Articat over there whatever you like, and uh, I'll go through the comments and either comment back or give it a thumbs up. That way you know I read it. Yeah, we'll wait till his brother gets here and we'll get him loaded in the trailer, mocked up in the trailer as if we were gonna go somewhere. And then I'll bring it back to my house, figure out where I'm gonna put it at my house. I gotta move all the bikes around and sort out where it's going in the garage, but that's uh, that's my least of my worries. Getting the sled was uh, step one, I guess you could say. But I'm definitely gonna rip it around the lawn for like a couple of minutes once I get to my house and try it out. Yeah, I really didn't tear up the grass, so. For sure, in the next couple clips, see me uh, attempting some wheelies on this thing. I've only ridden snowmobiles really a couple that, times. I just kinda gave it a little gas. Dude, It'll you're up. doubting the 600s. It'll come up. I never doubted it. No? It'll come up. But, yeah, I'm hyped on this thing. Oh, and one other little minor thing is when, typical when in, in reverse, it just got hooked and broke the flap, but that's only like 40 bucks, 30 bucks for a new one. If I'm gonna give you my hand guards, when I get new hand guards, you give me your flap, no. you, I trade flaps. I'm not giving up that flap. <laughs> you like that flap too much, huh? All right, fair enough. This is all new to me. Ryan's informing me that uh, move this back, more space, or take this out, wheelie higher. I don't know much about snowmobiles, as you can tell. I'm a total noob, so I'm sure I'm getting criticized in the comments already. I don't care, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll adjust that once I get more comfortable with it, but Ryan already knows the tricks to, uh, or common, common sense for snowmobilers, <laughs> I guess you could say, but... Not for me. Take my hood off. Take off this sticker. There we go. Boom. Looks ten times better. One little sticker makes a huge difference. He's actually gonna fire up the cat and ride it around. Wow. Does that have a can on it? Does that have a can on it? Trail.
on just a tad. Jeez. You're backing it in? You think they'll fit? Dude, I don't know. Barely. I think, no. I don't know. You won't know until we put them in to really see. But once we do that. The last one might have to be offset a little bit. That's the only way. It's like three inches past the 16 right now, and we fit three sleds in a 16 foot box completely. Might have to take out the toolbox and the bench. <laughs> I tore it up a little bit. What was that? Oh, I thought the shock just blew out. <laughs> I swear I thought the shock blew out. I'm like, just from backing it up? Oh my, it's too long. Maybe if you had it butted up to the corner. No, that one, I think. Oh! Just tore it up a little bit. No big deal. You got up. I think that's the best we're gonna get. All right, so I just came back to Ryan's to drop off the trailer. I guess yesterday somebody widened his pit bike, cracked the case. As you can see, it's leaking oil everywhere. He's got to figure that out. It's cracked somewhere. The chain didn't snap off. He just crashed it and then uh, broke this whole plastic piece off, and now it's leaking oil. So needs a good power wash, and looks like it's coming out from the bottom. But what do I know? But the pitter, uh, pitter's out of commission as of right now. Now he can match me with the uh, the zip tie job fender when he does that. Right now that I messed around a little bit, I'm gonna power wash the track up and everything, clean it up. Uh, shout out to Ryan for letting me borrow the the uh, the electric, the e. I don't even know what to call it. The e washer. Yeah, the e washer to uh, clean this up and uh, get this thing done. Went at it, cleaned up the track, cleaned up everything as best I could. Cleaned up the 250. Finally got that all um, kind of rinsed somewhat better than what it was and I rinsed the pit bike off so back this thing in and uh wrap it up it's been a long day and it's good so probably move it over a little bit so I can get stuff in and out but for right now until I move all the bikes over and then this will go there Maybe the bikes will go over here. I don't know, I haven't fully made up my mind yet. All right, so before you guys head out of here, if you wanna check out the new uh, clapped key tags, the link's down below in the description. They just came out, front and back clapped key tags for your keychains, um, for your car keys, whatever you wanna put it on. Super good quality, really thick. I think they came out pretty sweet. So like I said, the link's down below in the description if you wanna check it out. Along with the uh, pit bike giveaway, if you guys didn't know, I'm giving away the OG pit bike. Every $5 spent equals one entry to win this thing. So the link's also down below to order stickers on my website. So like I said, every $5 spent equals one entry. So for example, if you spend $20, that's four entries to win this bad boy. So uh, don't miss out, get your entries in. And uh, it's the cheapest way that you're gonna ever get a pit bike for possibly $5. So check it out. All the links are down below in the description. All right, so it's been a long day driving. I'm gonna cap this video off here. If you enjoyed it, wanna see more, definitely hit the subscribe button down below if you wanna see more snowmobiling content along with dirt bike content. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'm going to be riding, get uh, on the 250, not the pit bike. I know some of you have uh, been requesting some more 250 videos. It's just because there's nowhere to ride, there's no tracks open, and uh, we got an invite out to a private check, so we're going to check that out. But yeah, off of that, like I said, if you guys enjoyed it, definitely give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.